At least 1,000 women have been widowed, with 12,000 persons killed across northeast Nigeria. The region has over 1.8 million internally displaced persons, IDPs, since the terrorist group Boko Haram went violent over a decade ago. Many communities continue to feel the devastating effects of insurgency. Alaja Yana is a member of the Chibok community in Bono State, whose child is missing in the second 2017 Chibok school attack, where at least 276 girls were abducted. Yana explains the devastation. We are still asking them, begging them in the name of God. The remaining of our guests, we are still in need of them. Our tears are still running out. We, the mothers especially, some of our mothers are dying because of this issue. So please, and please, we need help so that we are, the remaining of our young people are. And Ado Alaji Adamo is also one of the residents of Dapchi in Yobe State that is still wearing a gloomy face as himself and other parents continue to hope for the return of his cousin and other schoolgirls taking into captivity in a school abduction. This and other reasons bothering on insecurity forms the basis for the discourse at the 2022 Motala Mohammed Foundation Lecture, where the life and times of the late head of state, General Motala Mohammed, is analyzed alongside the issues of tackling insurgency in Nigeria. In the life of the late General Motala Mohammed, and in his example in leadership, we saw the difference which courage, underpinned with conviction, can make in a short space of time. When this is combined with the zero tolerance which his government exhibited towards corruption, indolence and maladministration in public affairs, we know that it is within us, if we wish, to build a coalition of citizens united by a resolve to clean up and modernize the governance system and project a vision of transformation that can set us on the path towards claiming our greatness as a people and a country. We cannot have a situation where girls no longer want to go to school. Families don't want their daughters to go to school. In a country that already has 15 million children out of school, of which the larger percentage of them are women and girls. Be rest assured, the army is doing, the armed forces are doing everything within their powers. And they will continue to do everything within their powers to rescue our loved kids, our loved girls. And by the grace of God, in the not too distant future, I'm sure they will be reunited with their family. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo, who joined the meeting virtually, reminisced on the leadership qualities of the late Motala Mohammed while providing solutions to tackle the rise in banditry and kidnapping across Nigeria. Problems that we had that predated over the arm of the cases. The point the focal dimension is that all these started immediately after the Civil War because of the ease with which people could have access. Uh, the lecture comes two days after the nation marked four years since the terror group Boko Haram took into captivity Leah Sharibu and 109 other students of the Government Girls Science and Technical College, Dapchi. Mary Chinda, Arise News.